Yo, what's going on, boys? Closing Works here. Welcome back to another Madden Ultimate Team video today, gentlemen. We are going to be breaking down the draft promo part one. We are going to be returning to Mutt Draft or Draft Champs, however you guys refer to it, with an updated player pool. Really, really have been enjoying the game mode. No abilities unless the player you draft has the ability baked onto him. So uh, some cards are completely overpowered, but it actually is a really enjoyable play pool. I don't necessarily think there is a skill-based player pool. I do believe it is all random to my knowledge, which kind of has a exciting, uh, but sometimes tilting uh, element to it um, based on, you know, whoever you're going against, what cards they have, what cards you have, what playbook you even have. But enough of the game mode. Wanted to talk about the rewards for the game mode uh, and kind of let you guys know if it's worth the grind. Um, I feel like some content creators, not in a negative way, are kind of understating how much you you need to uh, put into the game mode to actually reap the rewards. Uh, and then I think some people may be confused of the reward system and how it works with the escalating uh, rewards. So we're going to be talking about that today. To start, before we get into the cards and who you should really look out for, I just want to talk about the game mode and how you actually reap the benefits of putting in the time. So once you log in, you guys will be getting a competitive entry token. Uh, basically, that's going to allow you to play the game mode. If you were to lose right off the bat, uh, you also can buy in with coins. It's only like 15k, so pretty easy pay in uh, for the rewards you will be getting. So I think this is a pretty, pretty easy way to play. Um, but basically guys you're gonna go in you're gonna draft your team you're gonna have like three different rounds of playbooks which is uh pretty good if you're a little nervous about not having a playbook you like it's pretty generous i kind of wish it wasn't that way but that's not the point of this video uh but boys basically you guys are probably going to see it on screen here now one win is going to give you a 91 overall draft player pack when you get two wins you're going to be getting a 91 player pack but you're also going to be getting a 91 plus player pack so already it's it's kind of looking up three wins you're going to be getting a competitive draft entry ticket back so you can go right back in once you've hit three wins you will get a 91 overall nfl draft player pack and then two 91 pluses and then of course when you get to four wins these packs just increase and then when you get to five you guys are going to be getting a 93 plus nfl uh, draft player pack so the rewards are pretty solid now where i think some people may get lost is after you reach your five wins it reads and go for more the 93 overall nfl draft player pack will increase to 95 97 98 and then a 99 overall draft night player now this does not mean if you go load up another ticket your sixth win is going to get you a 95 and then your seventh win which is your second win on your new ticket that will not give you a 97 from my understanding you need to get another five straight wins and then that pack at the end instead of a 93 you'll be getting that 95 then after you get another five wins on your next ticket you'll be upgraded to a 97 and then after another five wins you'll be getting your 98 and 99 but i know it may sound like a lot it is but you know for all my guys that were running the weekend leagues this is nice. This kind of brings you back to that feeling. But guys, keep in mind, every single time you're getting those plus five wins, you are getting, for example, a 95 plus, okay? It's not just a 95 player. Then when you get your next five wins, you'll be getting a 97 plus. You're not just going to be locked in at that 97. So please keep that in mind. I think that's very important to know just so you don't feel discouraged or let down by the game mode. I think that the, the pluses really help uh, incentivize grinding this out. Um, now, the sets will kind of be a little easier if you are playing it. If you guys are obviously ripping packs, of course, that's a whole nother discussion. But, you know, when you keep in mind, uh, you know, your 91 overall fantasy pack, your 93, your 95 this game mode is really going to help you out getting to those. I did, I've done 10 games so far. Fortunately enough, we've hit 10 and 0. So I'm at the 95 plus player pack. Um, when I play more tickets today, I'll obviously, probably, hopefully get to the 97. But uh, you guys will also see on screen now in my 95, I did pull a 97 player pack, which is really nice. So I'm already getting kind of more top tier rewards and I've only done 10 games in, or I've only landed 10 wins, I should say. So please keep in mind some of these packs, obviously packs are uh, sometimes unforgiving, but when you're playing for free, you're just grinding it out. They can really, really help you. So don't feel like you need to buy in uh, with real money for this uh, 
promo obviously if time constraints is a problem for you then that's understandable but for my guys who are just playing and grinding i really think uh, you're going to reap the benefits of this game mode it is until may 2nd so i'm sorry this video is a little late i'm a little late to the promo myself but hopping back in i'm not really fearing the time i think uh the week and a half that you have left will still be plenty as long as you guys are just actively participating and playing maybe a couple hours a day or if you want to grind heavy on the weekend once you get off of work or school um, you know, a few hours, you guys are really going to see some rewards. So just keep that in mind. Um, now for the players, um, I don't know. I would only assume that once you get up to the 97 pluses, the 98 pluses, you do have a shot at these limited edition players. Unfortunately, guys, I don't know when these guys expire while I'm doing this voiceover, but you guys will see that on screen uh, once I get that information. But Larry Fitzgerald here, 99 overall, 98 speed, six foot three. I love how this year they actually made Larry Fitz a good card uh, kind of throughout the year with speed. Um, but third down threat zero ap one ap matchup nightmare one ap route tech um you know for me guys i don't really run too many uh route abilities on my receivers that will probably change as i kind of upgrade my team i've been still running the super bowl theme team but the larry fitz card still a great card great frame 218 six foot three 98 speed 97 excel he only does get the cardinals chemistry so just keep that in mind um this isn't like one of your aka players but still great card every single card right now is pretty solid that's coming out just because it's that part of the year uh todd Gurley, honestly probably one of the better backs in the game here 98 speed 98 excel six foot one at 227 right here off the bat zero ap jukebox really wish he got an energizer that would have been absolutely crazy uh but you could run a jukebox energizer combo for only one ap he gets short and elite for some of my uh, passers who uh still like this on their running back if i were to run short and elite anywhere it probably would be my running back just because it really secures the dump off especially if you guys are playing cfm but this is of course a, a mutt game mode and then bruiser i don't i don't really know who's running bruiser respectfully but if that's your taste you guys can run it champ bailey here with a zero ap pick artist one ap uh mid route ko and one ap inside shade this card is absolutely goaded. Six foot, 99 speed, 99 Excel, 99 man, 97 zone, and 97 press, which is really, really solid. 97 catch of traffic, too. I wonder if that really uh, means anything. Uh, but finally, the people's champ, Ryan Shazier, six foot one, probably the most important user in, uh, in Madden history, kind of, in my opinion. But uh, one AP enforcer. Well, zero AP lurk artist, awesome, and then one AP mid zone, really solid card, three million. That's ridiculous, but nonetheless, really, really good card. Now for your champions, this is your set players. So while you guys are uh, grinding the game mode, expect to land one of these players by your choice of who you wish to complete the set on. Um, but Tyler Lenderbaum, zero AP linchpin, that's solid. One AP identifier and one AP secure protector. This is a really, really good card. Uh, Kirby Joseph, pick artist, zero AP, deep out zone KO, one AP and flat zone, one AP. Kind of wish he would have gotten a deep zone KO, like all in all, not just a deep out, but but I guess it happens, right? Up next, we have Jake Ferguson. This is kind of the card I was looking forward to for this promo. Mid and Elite 0 AP, Route Tech 1 AP could be really nasty at tight end. Uh, deep and Elite 1 AP, you know, solid abilities, guys. Like I said, I'm not really too heavy on my uh, receivers getting abilities. I just focus on QB and O-line. Uh, but with my current theme team, that's just how I have to play. But that will probably change up here soon in the future once we upgrade. Up next, guys, we got Greg Rousseau. 95 speed, 99 excel, instant repaid, 0 AP, El Toro, 1 AP, and no outsiders for 1 AP. Not really a big fan of this uh, discounted ability. I mean, it's like, ugh, I don't know. I mean, if you guys are you know building your pass rushers to have pass rushing cocktails this could be a decent uh build just kind of wish he had maybe like a a double or nothing or uh or like maybe an ad adrenaline rush for zero ap instead of instant rebate i don't know that's just kind of how i build my cards not really a big fan of the greg rousseau it could be wrong though uh jalen ramsey up next zero ap pick artist bench press one ap i mean Bench press actually might be solid if you guys are using him in the slot man coverage. That could be exploited very well, actually. So this could be a nice sleeper card. Uh, deep out KO for one AP or deep route, excuse me. So this is the man coverage one. So good man to man card. Um, I actually really like the bench press for one AP. I think you guys could utilize that in the slot if you guys are playing a nickel. Um, not really too many people are using their slot corners in a dollar. 
Um, but for my guys who uh, who do use your slots, this uh, this bench press may be really solid in your man coverage scheme. Or if you're playing zone, just simply put a man assignment to the player you're pressing and you guys can go ahead and take away his stamina. Might not be a, a bad move. Up next, we got Garrett Wilson, 99 overall, third down threat, zero AP. This is kind of a trend here with these uh, draft players with their third down threat. It's pretty solid. It's a really nice addition uh, for, for free. It's pretty good in my opinion. Deep out elite, one AP and route tech, one AP. This card is probably the one I'm looking at more just because I like Garrett Wilson, but the Larry Fitz is very solid as well. Uh, basically kind of the same exact card, but uh, Fitz is going to have that height but nonetheless, I think it's probably just going to be, uh, you know, who, who you like more. Me, I'll probably lean into Garrett Wilson just because of the name. Up next, though, guys, you're going to have your heroes. We're not going to be talking about these guys, but your 97s will be included in those 95 plus packs. Uh, you know, obviously random, but expect to see some of these guys as you all are grinding this out. And then, of course, guys, your sets are pretty, you know, self-explanatory. We all kind of peek at them once these new promos drop. For the 99 overall uh, champion player pack, which is like your Jake Ferguson and all the guys we just talked about, you're going to have to put in two 97s, which... You know, like I said, once you guys get around that 10 win mark and you keep going, they're going to be a lot more abundant for you. And then two 96 overall players from any promo, okay? Then you guys will earn yourself your 99 overall draft champion uh, pack where you guys can choose who you want. So, you know, pretty solid promo. Um, I do think the 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 actual game mode is better than the cards. Uh, there's There are a few cards I really like that shine through. Really like this Champ Bailey. Excited about the Jake Ferguson and the uh, Garrett Wilson. Uh, but, you know, for the all the other players in the game, I don't know if you're absolutely going to be upgrading to these guys. Um, Maybe wrong, just depending on where your guys' teams are at. But still, really enjoying the updated Mutt Draft. If you guys do get the chance, just try it out. If you guys don't feel like grinding out the rewards, I still would recommend just giving the game mode a shot. It's really nice to play uh, you know, around this time of the year where you don't have so many instant ons. Not that there's like a full problem with it, but it does kind of give the game a fresh touch. And it is exciting when you go ahead and land that Big Ben in the uh in the draft pool where he's literally loaded up with abilities you kind of feel unstoppable so give it a shot if you guys are enjoying this promo or the uh or just the game mode itself let me know and uh i'll probably be getting more videos out on it too we have been streaming it been really enjoying the promo and the rewards i like the incentive hope you guys too hope you guys are satisfied with it i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy boys peace